歡迎收睇美國 TMZ 作嘅美國專訊，我係任敬陽。美國華人歷史學會係一個喺美國專門收集華裔美國人歷史同記錄嘅團體。咁、这、呢個組織總共收藏嘅展品咧有五萬件咁多。部分展品最近喺佢哋三藩市嘅總部裏面一間博物館展出。咁下邊咧就由我哋嘅記者布洛克帶大家參觀一下。美國華人歷史學會位於繁忙嘅三藩市華埠裏面。三藩市內大約百分之二十五嘅人口屬於華裔，其中好多人喺遊客喜愛嘅唐人街裏面生活同工作。喺四年前，呢、這個組織建立咗一家博物館，展示華裔美國人喺美國歷史上嘅地位。喺十九世紀中期，第一波華人移民潮嚟到美國西部地區，其中好多人從事修建鐵路同挖掘金礦嘅體力勞動工作。根據呢個博物館嘅項目協調員石樹芬話：，展覽唔單止教育普通民眾，同時亦幫助華裔美國人了解佢哋嘅歷史。喺華裔美國人當中，有好多人屬於第三代或者第四代移民，佢哋感覺到已經脱離咗自己嘅根。What we're trying to teach people is, for one, just to be proud of themselves, be proud of their history, be proud of their identity. 博物館仲記錄咗當時美國社會對華人嘅歧視。根據博物館嘅展覽項目協調員雷妙玲話：，以前種族主義出現喺卡通片、歌曲同報紙嘅文章中，甚至喺二十世紀，連兒童叢書亦貶低華人。You show how early on in life、um, mainstream Americans were learning about discrimination and about anti-Chinese prejudice that you know children. Who were learning to read at age three would learn that you know the kind of misconceptions that the Chinese would eat mice. 喺一八九二年，美国通过排华法案，限制中国人移民美国。呢项法案实施咗六十一年。当时美国西部有好多州亦同时颁布咗歧视华人嘅法律，使到中国移民难以揾到工作。当时好多华人开始自行创业。博物館仲特別展示咗華裔美國人嘅成功故事，例如美國華裔記者同宇航員。石樹芬話：博物館想展示出華裔美國人多元化嘅面貌。There's a rich history of a number of different professions,、um, and you know we want people to understand the struggles we've faced over time, and that we still face、uh, aspects of struggle and, and discrimination today. 遊客斯明克參觀博物館後，對華人嘅成就感到驚訝。I found that they were really、um, integral to so much of the,、uh, um, the industry and the development of、um, commerce and utilities、um, and success of the Western movement in the United States by being so much a part of the、uh, building of the railroads,、um, the shipping industry. It also showed me that the struggles they had to become identified and accepted, rather than downtrodden here in the United States. 石树芬话：社会认可并唔系当然嘅，经常有人以为佢系从中国嚟嘅。People will still come up to、uh, me and say, "Oh, wow, you speak very good English. Well, you know, I was born here.、Um, this is a common perception." 麦礼谦系美国华人历史学会董事会嘅成员。佢話：美國喺二零零一年發生恐怖襲擊事件之後，佢擔心華裔美國人會被認為屬於反政府而受到唔公平對待。Recently, you have a lot of anti-immigrant feelings, and Chinese because they look different are very, very easily just mistaken for for a foreigner. 美國華人歷史學會同博物館仲幫助美國華人尋根，以便佢哋更好嘅瞭解華人嘅過去同展望未來。记者布洛克喺三藩市报道：美国每年接受器官移植嘅人数超过二万五千人嘅，咁只不过器官嘅供应越嚟越少。咁最近加州一间公司就发明咗一种新嘅技术，可以将器官储存得更耐。咁下边系我哋嘅记者史卡拉嘅报道：一家叫人类生物系统嘅科研公司发明嘅一种溶液，可以将小白鼠嘅肾脏冷藏三个月。對於等候器官移植嘅病人嚟講，呢、这個可能意味住更好嘅生命希望。The longer that we can preserve the organ, the better matching that we can do。所以佢嘅公司研究出呢一種溶液。To be able to freeze an organ at minus e i or even minus t w transplant and produce urine is pretty amazing
。呢項突破對於數以千計等候器官移植嘅人都係有幫助，其中多數人等嘅係腎臟。哲尼斯醫生係紐約市郊一家醫院嘅腎臟移植手術部嘅主任，佢就話每十四分鐘就會增加一位等候腎臟移植嘅病人。At bottom is the fact that we really do not have enough to go around. So somebody's off the lifeboat, and if I, by using my influence, get an organ for me, by preference, then a person who perhaps would have got it ahead of me is going to lose out. 记者斯卡拉嘅报道。好啦，今日嘅节目时间又够，多谢各位收睇美国之音制作嘅《美国专讯》，我系任景阳，我哋下星期再见。